right of self-defense can be invoked when a state is threatened by another state. Israel cannot claim the right of self-defense against a threat that emanates from the territory it occupies. belligerent occupation. And this is not only this exists in the jurisprudence of the ICJ, the international community is almost completely paralyzed. I'm being generous when I say almost. With the UN experiencing its most epic political and humanitarian failure since its creation. The people in Gaza had survived. This time is different. Because in 45 days, Israel has destroyed 50% of the civilian infrastructure. In the beginning, we have to eradicate, it was said, we have to eradicate Hamas. How do you eradicate a political movement? How do you eradicate a political reality, which has also lived thanks to the blockade that Israel has imposed? On, uh... Do you think that Hamas cares that more than 3,000 children have died, more have been wounded, orphaned, and traumatized? Excuse me, what question is it? I don't know if Hamas cares or not, but I know that it's Israel's responsibility ability not to bomb a 360 square meter kilometer uh, strip of land where the people are besieged. Israel did say civilians please leave this is where we're targeting so that wasn't them actually targeting civilians at that point. I beg your pardon I mean I don't mean to be rude but can you really keep a straight face as you ask me this question?